Hey, this is Tammy Pickett. I'm going to show you how to register your devices into Active Inspire. So if you have Active Expressions, Active Votes, Active Slates, those are going to be some different items that you can, uh, you know, register so that you can have use of. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your Active Inspire pulled up. Uh, most of you guys will probably have it on your dock somewhere. It'll just look like your Promethean board and tools. If you don't have it, then it's probably in your applications. And to find that, you can either go to your search menu up here and type in Active Inspire, and you can find it inside one of these items. You've got some different softwares here. But um, once you guys open that up, then you'll be in your Active Inspire view. Now you need to make sure that you have this browser on the left hand side that pops out. If you don't, then you'll need to uh, go to view at the top bar and then you'll click on browsers. You can see mine's checked, so that means it's showing and you can see it kind of disappear there. So I wanna go and put that back. So I'll click on view and then go back to browsers. And then once I click here, I click on this little devices that look like the active votings. Actually, um, Let's see, that's my browser. So once I click on that, yeah, my little active votes here. Now you'll see a couple different options on mine. This one is for active votes, so I'm gonna show you and click on this and choose, it ha was on active expressions. So I'm gonna change this little drop down menu right here to active vote. And once I do that, I'm going to click on the little clipboard and that's the register. Now you notice that there is nothing here. So that's a problem. If you open yours up and you actually have your hub that you should have plugged in, if this hub is plugged in and there is nothing showing on your device registration, that means you do not have an updated driver. Okay, so I'm going to show you if this is the case, again, you have your hub plugged in, you've got a blank, you need to go and update your driver. And in order to do that, you're going to go to Chrome and then you're going to go to Promethean Planet. So it's going to be www.prometheanplanet.com. And then once you go here, you're going to go to the support button at the top. And then you're going to come down to software on the left hand side. And then you're going to go to Active Inspire underneath that. Once you go there, you're going to have on the right hand side some different software drivers to download. Over on the right hand side, you've got the Active Driver Mac OS X version 10.6 onwards. That's going to be one of the one that you want to click on. So once you click on that, it's going to download and then that's going to be how you can update that. So once it stops syncing, you click on it and just follow the directions to make sure that it's updated. Once you do that, it's going to make you restart your computer normally all the way back over. So um, also, when you do that, you've got to make sure that you are not in Active Expire. So you'll actually have to come through Active Inspire and exit out of that. So that's just something it will not let you update while Active Inspire is actually running. So you'll need to close that out. Okay, so after, if you need to update it, after you've updated your Active Driver, you may need to also check for updates for Active Inspire itself. You've got two things, the Active Inspire software and the Active Inspire driver. So you'll go to help and then you can go to check for updates and then it'll tell you there whether or not you need to update it too. So those are the first two things you need to do. Update the software, update the driver. And I showed you how to do those two things. So now let's say you've updated, everything's good to go. You've restarted and you've logged back in. You've opened up Active Inspire like you see it here or maybe everything was up to date for you. What you're gonna do is you'll click on, again, the device registration, and you should see now that you have the updated driver, it should show all the options that you've got for this particular hub, that, hub that's plugged in. So you can see here that I have one active slate registered to this. Depends on what device you're trying to register, but let's say you're trying to do active votes, so you'll click on the active votes, and then I'll pop up some different devices. I actually have two active votes, it looks like, register to this device here. But in order to register, you see three buttons. You've got register, you can remove all, and then you can rename. So once you click on register, it's going to walk you through some different items here. So you can choose the number of active votes that you like. Um, I'll just say five right now. And you can just click next on however many. And then it will tell your students, this is what I would suggest if you have multiple items, have your students uh, have each active expression and do this. They'll just hold a little orange flame to press it and turn that on. And then you'll just make sure that the little lights turn on once they do that. And then they're going to enter whatever pin is shown here. For mine, it's ACD. 
Yours is going to be something different to make sure that they register just to your active hub. But once they click on that, you'll see all the devices start popping up over here in the right hand side. So you can say, OK, two students have actually logged in here. So then you'll click on finish and you'll have whatever students are there and you'll hit done and your active votes are registered. So if you need any other uh, information or help there, just let me know. Thanks.